Hello guys, this is Eddie. Today I want to kind of shoot a quick little video and show you all how to create a mailing list. Uh, first I want to kind of show you my home uh, home form solutions website. Um, this is the website that I created. I'm kind of proud of. I didn't know anything about website building and a few months ago I tackled this and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, but I just wanted to show it to you real quick. Uh, one of the things that I want to do is I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and what I've done, I did a little Google search here, and I just did Louisville Heating and Cooling, just to get an idea of uh, some of the local companies here. And anytime you do a uh, Google search up top here in this little highlighted area, it's like a yellow shaded box. These are paid advertisements. Alright, so we got True Energy Smart Air. I'm not going to click on none of these because if I click on them, that's just going to make them have to pay. Alright, but this is True Energy. This is Elite Heating and Air. I kind of keep up with all my uh, service companies. It's my competitions. I just want to see what everybody's doing and, you know, get some ideas for myself. But, you know, these are all pretty good guys. DFH, Prudential Heating and Air, they're one of the, one of the biggest... Uh, companies in Louisville. They were real big, but they new housing crash kind of shortened them down a little bit. But they were real big on new construction. We got production. They're a real big company here in Louisville. Middletown. They're a real big company. DFH. They're a real big. Uh, Prudential Production. KLM Mechanical. They're pretty big. Uh, Mazer. Uh, there's me. Uh, then Bryant. Heating and air, John Waters. So, you know, these are the guys that, you know, I kind of check out their websites and I just kind of follow up. You know, I just want to learn from the best. So, they're obviously on page one, so they're doing something right. And I'm just trying to figure out how they're doing it. And, all right. So, another little tip if you're out on your own, just focus on page one and get the ideas from them. All right. This this little tip that I've got for you all, as far as creating a mailing list, any time that we uh, in the state of Kentucky, when you sell a furnace or an air conditioner, we have to pull a permit, and that's through the city or the state, just depending on the jurisdiction, I guess. All right. But there's a website that's. Uh, it's called IPLdata.msd. That's going to represent LouisvilleKentucky.org. I don't know what it is for your local area, but that's what it is here. All right. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to search property, just to find out information about properties, or it allows you to search every permit that's pulled in the in your region here. So, to give you an example, I'm going to hit by a contractor. Now, contractor type, it could be a building contractor, electrical contractor, fire, HVAC, mechanical, moving range, signs. So there's a bunch of different things here. I'm in HVAC, so we're going to click on that. Over here to the left, it's going to be a contractor name. Here's a list of every contractor in Louisville, Kentucky. Alright. Every person's in here. For example, Home Performance Solutions. This is me. I'm new. I've been in business just for a couple, two, three months now. Uh, if you hit search, now there should be one permit. I pulled one permit on here. It just hasn't been put in yet. Alright, but this, let me get back out here. And. So we'll, let's go to True Energy. That's the first guy that we saw. Uh, so we're going to scroll down. We could go through every one of these if you wanted to, but we'll try True Energy Smart Air. There's none. He's got two of them in here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Let's go to this one. All right, so if you go to True Energy, it shows every permit that he's pulled. So in, in September, these are the permits that he's pulled. All right. 
do you notice something on this? Look right there. There's an address. So I know that in September 19th, 3502 Herb Lane, zip code 40220, had, if I click on the permit, a furnace and air conditioner replaced. Alright, and he got 4400 bucks for it. Now, he's obviously one of the honest ones, because a lot of guys lie about this. Uh, $1,000 for a furnace or $3,000 for a system or something like that. I don't, I'm not even going to get into that. Alright, but right here is an address. Are we, so, are we seeing where I'm going with this? Right here is an address. So if I go back, let's go back to another company. Won't pick on True Energy anymore. Let's go to Elite. True Energy is a newer company. He does some awesome advertising. Uh, he's got an awesome website. I'm starting, with me being out on my own, I'm starting to appreciate different companies and what they're doing a little bit more than when I was working for an individual. Alright, True Energy, I think, does some pretty cool advertising. Alright, so here's Elite. Look at here. It starts back in 2003. So I can go back to Elite all the way back to 2003. I could pull this permit information and it tells me what it is okay and there's the address 2304 Honor Palmer Boulevard 4245 do y'all see where this would be beneficial 2003 it's a what almost a nine year old furnace or air conditioner in there alright let's go out so each one of these pages has 20 permits so let's see since 2003 so he's got 33 pages since 2003 okay I don't know let's do the math here I got a calculator here 33 times 20 so since 2003 he's so he's done about 660 jobs now it's pretty reputable you know the weight's pretty big around here all right I'm they get a, they get their fair share of service calls, so you know to me that's pretty reputable. All right, let's go ahead and go to our another one of our big guys here. Let's go to DFH. Like I said they've been around for a long time. They've got a big name, good contractor. Again, these are going to go back to 2003, uh, and again it's got all their addresses and a lot of times it'll tell you here if they've replaced the furnace or air conditioner uh, I'm not sure flex so it looks like there was a furnace that was replaced it made a note here about flex gas what going through furnace so it looks like they replaced the furnace back in 2003 alright but Here's a list of addresses that had work done in 2003. Let's go through and see how many pages they've got. There's 20, there's 40, there's 30, there's 50, 90, 100. Like I said, they're a pretty big company. All right, so 135 pages, and that's about. And we're just going to rough estimate these. So 135 times 20, so they're about 2,700 jobs. Like I said, and they're pretty reputable. All right, let's go ahead and check out somebody else. And like I said, and there's. Right now we're at about 3,500 addresses. Um, 
put this way so I don't have to go back through all that again. Let's go to uh, production. Again, they're a big company. They've been around here for a very long time. Uh, I've never really heard anything bad about production. they got a pretty good service department, I guess. And I've, re I've really never heard anything bad about them for the most part. Let's see how many... 2003 again. Alright, so there's 50, 60. Uh, they do a lot of good advertising. They've got a really... They're, I mean, they're a well-established company. they got a good name here in Louisville. So I expect this number to be a little high. I know they do a lot of work. All right, so 167 pages. That's pretty respectable. That's a uh, roughly 3,300 jobs. You know, to me, that's pretty good. Let's do a couple more here. Let's go to uh, Middletown. Again, another contractor. I'm trying to think of contractors that's been around here for a while. Middletown has been around for a very long time. Again, another. Every, com every company is going to get their complaints here and there. Uh, there's Middletown right there. You know, again, they're starting back 2004, January 2004. Again, there's a whole list of addresses here, guys. Uh, I know there's something that was put in there in 2004. So if you were going to create a mailing list, wouldn't you want to advertise to that? All right, so look like on this one there's 60 pages. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, it stopped October of last year. I know they're still in business. I think they're still in business. Maybe they went out. I'm not sure. I, I thought they were still in business. But even if they are out of business, uh, 20 pages, that's 1,200 jobs. You know, so that's pretty good. I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of about that. Let's go to KLM. We'll do it again this way because it's a little quicker than scrolling back. And KLM, they're a mechanical company here in Louisville. They do residential also. Uh, let's find out where they are at here. KLM Mechanical. All right, and again, since 2003, all your addresses here. You know, if you can click on some of them. Uh, this is a one-two family existing, so I know it wasn't new construction. Some of these guys that have a, a whole lot of uh, permits pulled, like Prudential, they do a whole lot of new construction, and that would tell you right here if it was new construction or not. And they would have a lot of uh, inspection. They would have a long inspection history too. They make several trips out there. All right, but you got roughly eight thousand dollars. I'm assuming this is a complete system. All right, so let's kind of see how many. So they've got thirty-one pages. So let's go times twenty. So 620. Like I said, these are some of the big companies in Louisville here. These guys are pretty well known. Okay. Let's do one more. And let's go ahead and do uh, another big company here in Louisville. Let's do Bryant. Go ahead to Bryant Heating and Cooling. Alright, again, this starts that 2003, so we're still in that same time frame. Alright, again, all these addresses that are available on the internet. Now, I don't know the legality of this, guys. Alright, I said earlier in one of my other videos, this is completely legal. I don't see anything illegal about mailing off to these. If you wanted to use this information to create a mailing list, I personally you might want to 
contact your lawyer. I'm going to make a few phone calls this week myself because I'm interested now. Uh, there's been some things that came up here in the last week or so, so now I'm interested. All right, uh, and if I can, if I can use these this mailing list myself, I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm going to create. I'm, I know there's nine, ten year old, almost ten year old equipment there. All right, so let's take a look and see what Bryant's got going on here. There's twenty. There's thirty. There's forty. It's fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Keep on clicking through until we get to the end here. Whoops. It's 110, 120, 130. They're a big company, so I expect this number to be large. 170, 180, 190, 200. We'll get through this, guys. There's 260, there's 270, 280, 290. So they're definitely above everybody else in Louisville. Well, I don't. There's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of addresses here. 350, 360, 370, 380, 390. All right, there's 394 pages. 394 times 20 per page on an average. That's 7,800 jobs that Bryant Heating and Cooling has done. Okay, so 7,800 jobs that Bryant's done. 620 jobs that KLM Mechanical has done. 1,200 that Middletown has done. Uh, where we have production at 3,300, DFH at 2,700, Elite at 60, 660. So that right there, I'm adding them together now. Twenty-seven hundred. That's a list of 16,000 addresses that I have access to, and that's only going between one, two, three, four, five six companies alright like I said I'm gonna check the legality of this I don't see where it's anything illegal uh, this is open to the public it's published by the Louisville Metro Code and Regulations uh, I'm gonna contact these people and make sure that I don't know why I can't use this address list alright I know there's, like, on, for instance, on Bryant Heating and Cooling in Louisville, Kentucky, there's uh, 7,880 addresses here. Uh, KLM Mechanical, Louisville, Kentucky, there's 620. Middletown Heating and Air, Louisville, Kentucky, there's 1,200. These are the biggest of the biggest companies in Louisville. Uh, or productions, 3,000. So we have 2,000, 3,000, and 1,000, and almost 8,000. So you now if you keep looking through the list, you'll find a whole lot more. So I would use this to your benefit as long as it's not going to get you sued. Uh, I, like I said, I am looking into it myself, uh, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Or maybe you've given a permit, or maybe you've given an estimate to somebody. Here's another thing you can use it for. Say you've given an just you've given an estimate, and it just happens to be it's called A&A Mechanical, and it just happened to be at 3405 Box Elder Road. You just want to see. You could type that in. Uh, where am I at here? By uh, address. You could type that in right here, put their address here, and put their at, and hit search. It'll, it'll bring up the property. You can see who pulled the permit and who got the job. All right, so there's another benefit of this website. So I would encourage for you to get on this website here, and that way you can keep track of what I'm doing. 
if that's an interest to you, I'm a small, I'm a one man operation. So if you're interested in seeing if I'm hurting your business any or not, you can keep track of me here, or you can keep track of your biggest heating air company, your biggest competitor, and you know that way you can keep you know what everybody's doing. So use this to your full advantage. Uh, like I said, as long as it is legal and you're not going to get sued, I would ever I would use this mailing list. Uh, we're going to go back to one that has 8,000 of them on there. I'm not even going to pick on that company. We'll go back to... I don't want anybody thinking I'm picking on any certain post people. I mean, I don't, not that anybody would want to sue me over an address. Uh, but you got addresses all the way back to 2003. Alright, so like I said, use it to your full advantage. And... I will be checking out the legality of this. And if you all know if it's legal or not, please contact me. Is that somebody contacting me now? Sorry about that, guys. All right, so if, if you know the legality of this, please just leave a comment below. Because, uh, I, to be honest with you, I've already mailed out a few hundred of them off of here. And I plan on continuing to do so as long as I can't get sued off of it uh, but let me know and thanks for watching